This is the tutorial to demonstrate how to use Interlibrary Loan to gain materials which are not available through ES40 Library. Interlibrary Loan is a free service whereby we will get materials from other libraries, either books or photocopies of articles, for you. This is especially useful if you're doing searches in our databases, find needed materials which are not full text. We can get virtually anything for you using Interlibrary Loan, but the average length of time for materials to arrive using Interlibrary Loan is about three working days. So I always like to tell our patrons that good research takes time, so you need to leave at least three working days before you need to use the materials as they come in through Interlibrary Loan. To begin with, from the Farty Library homepage, scroll down past resources under the category of services. You will see a link for Interlibrary Loan. Find that link and click. This will take you to the Interlibrary Loan information landing page. You can get some basic information, including contact information for our staff, what sort of materials are available to get through Interlibrary Loan, and also there is an Interlibrary Loan Frequently Asked Questions page to hopefully clarify some of the confusion you might have about using Interlibrary Loan. To begin with, you need to have an Iliad account. If you don't already have an Iliad account, you need to create one using the Iliad registration link. This will take you to the gray and black screen which will give you some basic information about creating an Iliad account, plus some copyright information. At the bottom of that page, you'll see a link for first-time users. Find that link and click. You will advance to the contact information for Iliad registration. Please give us your contact information, including your WIN number, and please use your Wilkes email address. Notice the red asterisks indicate these are needed fields. At the bottom of that contact registration page, you'll see you need to make up a username and a password. And please remember your username and password. Write it down or put it in your cell phone. Don't lose your username and password because the most common question we get about using Iliad is I can't remember my username or password. We can reset it for you, but it's a lot easier if you just don't lose it to begin with. Regardless, once you finish with the contact information, click and you will advance to your Iliad main menu page. You can think of Iliad as your personal FedEx to deliver materials for you. You can gain all sorts of materials including books, articles, conference proceedings, dissertations, all through your Iliad account. So you can think of it as your personal FedEx. It's very straightforward, simple to use. Most of the time our students will request materials through Iliad. They need articles. So find under new request the link for article and click. This will advance you to the photocopy request page. So you simply either type in or copy paste your needed bibliographic information for your citation. Again, the red asterisk fields are required. When you've completed that, click on submit request at the bottom of the page. Once you click submit request, request is entered into the Iliad account and within three working days you should get an email in your Wilkes account telling you your article is in your Iliad account and you can view it. To view your article within Iliad, click on the link for electronically received articles. Front and center you see a display including your transaction number and under view you'll see the PDF icon. Click view adjacent to the PDF and your article should display. Your article will remain in your Iliad account for 30 days. After 30 days, your PDF will vanish, but your citation will remain under All Requests. So if you click on All Requests, you can find a record of all the articles that you ever requested or all the books you ever requested using Iliad. If you mislay your article, you can request it again using Iliad. Simply go to All Requests, click on your transaction number, and at the top of the page you will see Clone Request. So if you need another copy of the same article, simply click Clone Request, 
and resubmit that article and we'll get you another copy. Books are very easy to request using Iliad as well. But keep in mind, the book will not come through your Iliad account. Books instead will come to the Fardy Library Circulation Desk, so you do need to have access to campus to pick up your book. To submit a book request, just click under New Request Book. Once more, copy-paste your bibliographic information. Click Submit Request. Within a few days, you'll get an email telling you your book has arrived at Fardy Library. You can stop by the circulation desk, sign for it, pick it up. You can usually have it for 30 days and request it for another 30 days. As long as your book is not overdue, you can request renewal. Under All Requests, find your book, Citation, and at the top of the page, instead of seeing Clone Request, you'll see Book Renewal. As long as the book is not overdue, you can request renewal. If your book is already overdue, that option disappears and you need to return the book to Fardy Library. And that's basically all there is to using Interlibrary Loan. We can locate articles, books, conference proceedings, dissertations, virtually any type of information format, we can try to get it for you through Interlibrary Loan. Another aspect of Interlibrary Loan that you need to be aware of is that you can easily take the information from our article databases, the citation information, and put it into your Interlibrary Loan account. In other words, you can take the information without retyping it. I'm in the Sinhal database, and I've done a simple search on Roy Adaptation Model within Educational Situations. Notice I've set the date range for the last five years, as is typically required by most assignments in nursing, and I've limited it to scholarly journals. Going through my display, I see an article that looks interesting, Utilization of Music Therapy in Palliative and Hospice Care. So I click on that citation, display the complete bibliographic citation. So far, so good. But notice on the left-hand side, there's no PDF icon. Instead, I have Check for Wilkes Full Text. So I'm going to do that. And instead of getting the full text, I get, sorry, there is no full text available at Wilkes. So ordinarily, you'd have to go back to the drawing board and try to find another full text article on that subject. Or with your Interlibrary Loan account, under More Full Text Options, just click on Request via Interlibrary Loan, and you see what happens. My bibliographic information automatically pops in. This is called Repopulate. So it saves you a step in retyping, copy-pasting that information. This concludes the Interlibrary Loan tutorial. Hopefully you have a better understanding of how to use Interlibrary Loan and what it can accomplish for your research goals. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to email, call, chat with the Farley Library Reference Staff. We're here to help.